to pitch this world-changing and innovative idea. During these three days, we crossed, we trekked across Salesforce and evolved our idea and talked to numerous people and we're finally excited to be here. So I'm Thomas. I'm Ed. I'm Joe. And I'm Denise. And we're Ember Corporation. At Ember Corporation, we believe solar is the future. We're passionate about preserving the environment, and so that's why we decided to model our company around the idea of being eco-friendly. You might ask how we might do that, and I can, ask, I can answer you by putting solar panels into cars. And that leads us to our purpose, to help, to help the world by providing an option to saving gas. Our company has already taken the first steps to uh, implementing these solar panels into their cars. Obviously, that being Toyota. Uh, but many, many cars before, such as when Toyota came out with their first previous, their first hybrid car, they possessed 100% of the market share. And soon after, other car companies, such as Honda, GM, and Ford, followed in the footsteps to create their own hybrids. Likewise, today, Toyota also possesses 100% of the market share in these hybrid slash solar powered cars. But we're and we're here to help Honda, GM, and Ford, and possibly Toyota, enter that market as well. However, we still see paints in Toyota, and as well as Honda, GM, and Ford. Their paints we've divided into three different sections. Companies are ready in the market. Companies trying to find a way to enter the market, and all companies in general. Companies are already in the market, which is so far only Toyota itself, could be paying a high premium because there's only one source, one provider who's providing these solar panels to them right now. Companies looking for a way into the market are at a competitive disadvantage because they're behind in the race to solve. And so they're behind in competitive sales disadvantage. And as for all companies, we've noticed from 2007 to 2008, there's been a drop of hybrid sales. Our solutions will solve these by entering the, entering the market and therefore becoming the competition. We'll provide a price curve for Toyota so they can have a choice to choose from to to buy from a cheaper source, which is us. Simultaneously, that choice will also give these other car companies the option and the key to entering this new market. A value proposition, low cost, efficient solar panels, as well as car fashion, I can. Many people drive around today, such as in like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and the high-end um, high exotic cars. People who uh, might not be able to afford these high-end exotic cars also like to customize their own cars by maybe adding um, kits, changing spoilers, adding wheels, I don't know, lights, things like that, different color paints. But in the end, people like to customize their own cars to fit their own liking. And it's the fashion statement that represents them, they're driving in this car, and it's good like to be seen in a car that represents themselves well. And that's why we decided visual is a very important um, key to our customers. And that's how we separate ourselves from why is it, um, this is important now is because um, awareness of the global warming on the rise. Everyone knows that it's a problem, so people are purchasing more um, extension cars. And um, as you can see here, the hybrid sales by the month is going up, but in 2008 it went down because of the economy turned down. But um, the hybrid percentage of Shell U.S. new vehicles is keep going up every year and, uh, in Japan. Uh, the monthly Prius sales in Japan, and it started from 2007, it keeps going down since they come out with a new Prius with a solar panels. The uh, sales hit sky rocket. Now you may be wondering what the market size is. Back to what Ju was referring to, to the charts. On average, there are approximately 300,000 hybrids sold. Now we expect to take 10% of that 300,000, which is and, and then there's 25 million is the total addressable market in the dollar amount. Now we expect to get 20% of that market, meaning that we expect to get $4,650,000. Now what exactly is our competition? As of now, we only have one direct competitor, which is Toyota's provider. And we also have indirect competition, which may be solar companies that have been around not related to automobiles, and this is for solar, rec solar, evergreen solar, and sunwise solar. So how will we compete against, say for example, Toyota's provider as of now? Well, first of all, we're offering solar panels that are just as affordable, maybe even less, actually even less than Toyota's provider. And we'll also be offering a 
solar panels that are much more visually appealing. And from that, we will be creating a product that is solar panel ready to be installed in cars. And some of the functionality in it, it won't be, at, um, it will be the same as the previous solar panels that they just came out. Um, if not more, we're gonna have the 16.5 conversion rate for our solar panels. And each solar panel is gonna have 300 watts um, per unit. And other than that, we're gonna be creating a special shape aerodynamic, which we're gonna be adding a roof spoiler to it, make it more sporty look, and it's gonna help the car stabilize when um, in high speed. And also, we're gonna have a functionality indicator in the car that tell the customers that their solar panel is working. Other than that, we also will be providing service training to our um, customers such as um, GM, Honda, and Toyota, Ford. Um, we, our engineers are going to be working closely with um, them to help them install these um, solar panels. And, and we have came up with a business model. Um, these are our customers, as we mentioned before, and um, the price that we're going to be charging for our solar panel is going to be 775 you might ask how we came up with this number. So basically, as of now, the technology to create solar panels um, is a dollar per watt. And our solar panel is gonna have 300 watts in it, so that's already $300 right there. And other than, because we are a startup company, we're gonna have a lot of startup fees, which is buying the machines, the building, rent, and we're gonna have uh, market research and then R&D and all those combined and um, to the whole cost of creating the solar panel per unit is going to be $675 and we are charging this that means we are actually making profit um, from this products that we have $100 and the uh, Toyota providers as we know it they are charging $875 for their solar panel so we are actually charging a cheaper price, so other com um, company would actually want to come to us because of the cheaper price too. And we could make this whole idea happen because we, in our company, we have amazing individual and is passionate about this idea and we would be able to make this work and help you guys make money if you guys do invest in us. And so we came up with the financial plan, and in year one, we already have a profit that is um, $580,000, and all that we are asking you right now is to help us start and help us achieve this goal, which is we're asking you for $4,070,000 to help us start because this is the time to actually start on this business because we are coming in as the other competitor. This is a new market. If we miss this chance right now, other people are going to be coming in and this market is going to be gone in a flash. So this is the right chance and the right time to enter this market. <laughs> Questions? So I understand, so the market right now is 300,000 units and you're looking to capture 10% of that market, which is 30,000. Mm -hmm. And that 30,000 represents $25 million? Yeah, at, at 775 times 30,000 and 25 million, that's the total, the total addressable market. And you're looking to get, that's 20% of that. Mm -hmm. so, so the 300,000, when you get to the 10%, what's that 10%? 300,000? Yeah. Well, why did you take the ten percent? I guess is where did you get the ten percent? Well, we're expecting get to get ten percent. We are expecting we're that from the hybrid uh, market mm -hmm. changing to the solar market would be ten percent. Mm -hmm. um, saying of that market, you'll get twenty percent. Yeah. Of the hybrid. So to clarify things, 300,000 300, units is actually the total number on average through a couple of years. Like averaging, it's about three hundred thousand uh, hybrid sold annually. 
So we're actually taking 10% of that to get our 